I was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1924. Everybody in my era, I can't remember one that didn't serve. In those days, college was not a factor. War was coming, there were no two ways about it. Everybody knew Hitler ruled the continent. My name is Gerard Martyr, United States Navy, started as an ensign, ended up as Lieutenant J.G. Navy was always my thing. I liked the plotting, the charts. When I got an A in navigation, A's were harder to come by in those days. Now it's a little bit of inflation. You'd say life on board when the guys, when we weren't carrying troops, was very good. There's some things you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Maybe I'm being boastful. I'm sure I could have taken that ship alongside the pier and done it quietly without uh, causing damage. The engine room had uh, uh, twin screws and there were four motors, gray marine engines on each, 225 horsepower each. We could go speeds of about 12 knots. And we also had uh, two uh, diesel uh, generators. And we had regular 110 volt type of uh, power board, electric power board. I'm proud of the fact that the Circle Line has kept my boat, the Circle Line 10, to be the last one of World War II ships that they had in their Circle Line fleet. I'm also proud that the thing has existed, that there aren't too many LCIs from World War II still around. And to know that this was our ship is, means something to me. I was proud I was in the Navy. I was proud that I had served. I loved the Navy. I seriously considered making my career, but the thing about it was I was not an Annapolis man. But I did love the Navy, and I think the Navy did right by me. Things like that don't go away. Things like that don't go away.